Hey everybody. Today I'm gonna show you what the process of coming up with a new beat um, or background for a new song is like for me. My name is John and uh, I love music. So here we go. So about a year ago, I came up with this on a real piano. Um, and yeah, it sounds like this. Uh, very repetitive. Um, so I actually started on this project by putting that into um, a very 70s, kind of eerie, cheesy, um, fake orchestra sound. Um, so that sounded like this. Then I quickly added a bass line on top of that, one just to give it a punch on the tonic of each chord. And the uh, distortion was deliberate. Then I added a walking bass line over here. Alrighty. Next we have the drums. So initially this was where the song began. Um, I forgot to mute that. So this is just, just the drum part here. Cool. So that was pretty cool together so far. We got this. All right, cool. Nice six, eight beat going on. All right. So then I added some guitar parts. All right. One is a lead that would be replaced with vocals if I ever write words to this. Um, but the other two are a lot more important. Um, so yeah, one goes like this, just a muted guitar. Lots of delay on that, and again, that's just a virtual guitar, it's not a real guitar. And then we have this guitar part, octaves and fifths and chords, generally speaking. And it's supposed to have kind of that 4-4 four, four techno feel, even though it is in fact in 6-8 or 3-4 or four four swing time, depending on how you want to think of it. After that, I was like, all right, I need a little more dissonance, even though it already has some. So I added this part. All right, nice dissonance there. And then, yeah, now it's time to put it all together. Um, so after I did all that, I wanted a really dramatic intro, so I added some extra bars and the song comes in a measure late, so it's very wonky. Um, yeah, and this is what it all sounds like.
So yeah, thanks for watching. That's how I make music, and hopefully I'll be uh, making some more soon here. Until next time, I'm John. We'll see you.